Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello. So, let me talk to you guys a bit before, oh gosh, I don't know where exactly. Good morning, my people. Good morning. I don't know. I am live to this morning. It's almost 10 o'clock actually. And I just want to prepare breakfast to be honest. And then, what is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah. I want to prepare breakfast and maybe have a chat. Guys, it's been it's been sunny. A couple of days it's been sunny. Look how much I, I got sunburn here in Nairobi. And then right now, as we speak, Nairobi is so cold. Mm -hmm. Cold and rainy. It's not funny even how how cold it was yesterday. So what am I doing? I just wanna prepare a meal. Like I don't I, I don't wanna bore you guys, but anyway, just just come and hang out. That's all. That's all this this morning morning video is all about. Come in, come and hang out with me. I'm preparing Githeri. I don't know if you guys I don't know. If you are a Kenyan, you should know Githeri. That's what I am preparing. Break Githeri for breakfast. Um so the ingredients of Githeri. What you need is boiled Gideri. Gideri is pretty much Kenyan staple food. So it's um it's beans and uh, and maize. I'll show you guys. Gideri. Beans and maize. And the maize is like it was fresh maize from I don't know, it was it boiled fresh maize. And I just wanna cook. And guys, I want to ask you ask you guys something. So, and I don't know if this is gonna be a TMI, and I don't want to to talk about TMI stuff. But I think you guys are ladies, and things happen guys as ladies, ladies, female health and whatnot. Has any one of you ever suffered from from severe uh, UTI? And what is the home remedy? What exactly did you use at home? Because I'm trying so much to avoid taking antibiotics for it. And I know many of you are going to tell me, now I'm cutting onions. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I'm just cutting onions here. And I know people are going to tell me, oh, just drink a lot of water and and uh, and take. I know that the... the, the, the the cure for it is, uh, is you need to um, to drink more water. You need to take a lot of vitamin C, and you need to also when you drink water, you go to the toilet and it it kind of flushes out the the bacteria. I don't know if it is bacteria. Doctors in the house, please help me here. I don't know if it's bacteria or it's fungal or it's what, because it's been it's been uh, a while. I've been having UTI for some time now. It goes and comes and goes, comes and goes. And it's not something to do with toilet. I got, I got it when I was, I went to my first gyna, um, my first gyna visit. And you know how, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to give you guys TMI. When I was in the gyna, you know, the, the, the things that they used to, um, you know, to um, to check you in there. I was struggling with that, and I think I told you guys. I, I told you guys uh, about that again. I think I I might have disabled disabled that videos because I feel like the videos were a bit TMI. So I did not. I did not actually. I think those videos I might have put them on private because I felt like I was sharing too much of my private life, private uh, intimate no like my private um, feminine health so i felt embarrassed i think I, I put those videos but anyway it started after going to the the doctor's office and i'm not sure if this machine that they use to uh, to go to go i don't know if this machine do they usually sanitize this machine 
or what happens because I, he just took the, the, the doctor, the late female doctor who was who used this machine, you know that ultrasound machine that they use, they put in there. He, I didn't see them washing it. Hmm? And from then onwards, the UTI that I've been getting is not funny. After getting to the doctor, there was a time I was even bleeding from the UTI and stuff. You know, and uh, I know that I need to go to the doctor. I know some of you will tell me, go to the doctor and all that. But I went. It's not like I didn't go. I went to the doctor when I was in the Emirates. I went to the doctor and the doctor checked my, I had to pee in a cup and what not, not. They had to take it take it to the to the lab for testing and they found the bacteria was uh, was actually the one for UTI whichever common bacteria that causes UTI and I was treated for that I was given strong antibiotics sorry let me get something from here this is exactly what I'm trying to avoid using strong antibiotics Antibiotics. So from then onwards, I've just been using drinking more water with lemon, but they re reoccur. And I know some people say check on your fem feminine hygiene and whatnot. I don't think I I'm not like it's not about hygiene because I'm pretty much a very clean person. And I know that people say check change your underwear. If it's uh, every three to six months, change your underwear. But my underwear are all cotton underwear, they are all, all actually new. So what could be costing it? Some people say put yogurt on there, insert yogurt. And then <laughs> I read somewhere that you put, I want to, I want to, do, this is a bit t TMI. So you guys, if you are grossed out or what, not, I'm trying, I'm Try to be a bit more classy and not uh, not to gross you guys out. Um, and then I read somewhere, and I also uh, was asking on this feminine uh, feminine health uh, group, uh, home remedy, natural remedy, or whatnot. And somebody said, people said that you use garlic. So before I, I say, before I, 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 I went online to check, and actually garlic is good. So what happened was, <laughs> the first night it was unbearable, the day before yesterday. It was so painful, unbelievable. So I crushed garlic, and then I put in a cotton pad, cotton, you know, the cotton wool, after crushing the garlic, and then I... I motioned, you know, like made it soft after, like I wrapped, you know, the way sushi, sushi is wrapped. So I wrapped, um, I wrapped the garlic in a cotton, small cotton, like a tampon, for it to look like a tampon. And then I shook it up in there. The pain that was I felt is not describable. I can't describe that pain, you know. It was so super painful. Oh, I think because of the, I don't know, the garlic. But I didn't. Have, I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't bear the pain, so I had to remove. Next day, when I when I woke up, it was pretty much gone. I didn't have it anymore. Like you know, because I, I was at home and I didn't have. A, so I'm putting Royco, guys. If you are Kenyan, I'm sure you know what Royco is. So that helped a little bit, and then it came back to normal. I was supposed to go and I gave up and I was on antibiotics, but I was too busy yesterday that I did not even manage to go and buy antibiotics. I don't know if you guys, it's just dairy. So that's all it is. And it's gonna be small, I mean. I need to put a little bit of salt. 
So I'm gonna read from you guys, but let me first finish this. Um, so I put, after that I didn't buy, so I said, okay, the next day again, the same thing came back. Only, obviously only when I am going for, for soft corn, is when I feel unbearable pain. And, um, despite whether I, but I, I must be honest, yesterday I did, I did not drink water because I was too busy to even drink water. And also it was very cold. The weather is absolutely disgusting now in Nairobi. It's raining, it's muddy, it's cold, but still Nairobi is home. I love Nairobi. So that, that's um, that. Then yesterday, I said, okay, maybe I must, I shouldn't have crushed the garlic before putting it up there. Hey, Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> so I made the garlic, and then somebody said you put string in the garlic, and then you tie the string, and then so that it, when you are pulling it out, like you just put a full garlic, you know, after chopping the, the sides. You just put the entire garlic in there. I put a small one. Hey, okay. this morning when I try to pull the string, the string cut, and then the garlic got stuck. <laughs> oh my God! The garlic got stuck up there, and I was just like, ah! I was first of all I was contemplating what, how am I gonna get to the hospital? And what will I tell the doctor? What will I do with garlic inside there? So eventually, after sitting sitting there and trying to, I was freaking out. Because can you imagine the garlic disappearing up there? That was not nice. So I, I managed to get it out. And uh, yeah, I said I would never put garlic. So today I have to... I have to go and uh, and buy the antibiotics. I have to get anti myself antibiotics because the pain is just not funny. And I know people usually say, "Oh, it is brought by your partner or whatnot." If you have a partner, get your partner checked. But I was barely active sexually, and I got them. So it's not necessarily about about that. So let me say what you guys you probably might have. Um, you probably might have a, a remedy for me. Let me have a look at what you guys are saying. I had to put this thing on top of the fridge so that I can have better. Good morning from the United States. Mm, my lips are so dry this morning. Mm. Hi, sweet. Hi, sweetie. Sue's heart. It's 3 a.m. in Atlanta. I woke up at Country Live first time. Silly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 3 a.m. What time are you going to fall asleep if it's 3 a.m. you're watching me? What time? Nobody has, has said anything regarding UTI. You guys don't get UTI or what you use. So I'm actually going to, um, to buy antibiotics today because I cannot bear, I cannot bear the pain. I think that's done. I'm going to serve myself and make some tea. I cannot bear the UTI pain, you guys. So the daily is pretty much very easy to make. This is the dairy, guys. So it's uh, beans and it's very yummy. It's beans and uh, maize, some onions, a bit of garlic and salt, and you can use butter or margarine. 
or whichever oil you prefer. This is the gizeri, guys. It's very, very, very yummy. Mm -hmm. I like gizeri. So, um, let me prepare. Guys, I'm losing my motivation of filming. Let me just let you know that. Let me get water. I'm losing motivation. Because I don't want to feel like I'm bringing you guys the same things here and again, again and again. So I'm looking forward to it, to collaborate with one YouTuber. She said that she was going to come next week so that we can collaborate, find content for you guys. I don't know what, which kind of content we are going to make, but I think maybe we might discuss. So... I'm not, I'm not gonna say who this YouTuber is. So she might she might not come and then I'm like, okay, I say to you guys that I'm gonna collaborate with somebody. So she's gonna come for a couple of, of days uh, here at home. And then she just need to show me so many things, so many youtube technicals because i am struggling i am struggling you can see that i'm i'm i'm, I'm just like doing live editing and and um, and all that uploading videos is giving me a hard time so forget it is anybody said anything regarding what I should do regarding my UTI yet? Don't lose motivation. Your videos are always authentic and 100% real. Your YouTube channel is amazing. Um, uh, good morning from Germany. I miss Kenyan food so much. The day I was dropped there, I will cook them type of food in one day. Black Queen. How is it in Germany? I don't miss Germany. With the, that weather, mm -hmm. I was in Stuttgart some time back. Munich, Frankfurt, Stuttgart. The weather, no, thank you. Too, too cold. See, I'm always burning myself with this thing. This thing is always getting stuck here. Oh, God. Yesterday I filmed a video that I wanted to I wanted to upload for you guys <laughs> but I don't know why I did not upload it. That's the reason why I'm telling you guys that I am my motivation is running down, running low. And I feel like I feel like sugar, so I'm gonna drink sugar today. My motivation is getting to zero. Zero. And I asked you guys regarding UTI and none of you, seems like none of you get the UTI that you can share the remedy with your, with your girl, man. Come on, share the remedy. So, yesterday I, I already paid for, it's very funny here in Kenya, man. Like, there is a, an insurance company that I paid. I paid this, this uh, insurance company because apparently it has the best, um, the best online review. So a health, health insurance company. Um, actually, they are called UAP. So I've been doing all the paperwork and, you know, sending all the documents and everything and the proposal was made. And I was told this is the amount that you need to pay annually. Then I wired the money. You know, this lady kept, the lady who works for insurance, 
kept bugging me regarding paying and, and you know finalizing the whatnot and you know register registration and all that. So when I finally I'm very hungry, so I added myself more food. <laughs> so when I finally I'm gonna go to the living room, then I'll come back for my food. And then I continue giving you guys the story. I'm going to sit here today and eat my breakfast. Wait for me. I'm going to bring my tea. I need a coaster. I have a coaster. So, let me sit here. I'm not naked. I'm wearing shorts, sleeping shorts. I want to show you guys the... You've seen them? These waist beads. They don't, they basically don't leave my, they are very comfortable, so I don't even feel them. So they never leave my, my waist, they are always there. They are always with me, but they are comfortable anyway. Even when I shower, I don't feel them. So I was telling you guys regarding the insurance. So this person, Bugs me regarding this insurance. I'm having a, a ketepati. It's very cold here in Nairobi. I need it, man. Look at how gloomy the weather is. Don't know if, if you, can, you guys can see. See? I want to show you guys how, how gloomy the weather is here in Nairobi. see you see how gloomy and how much the rain yeah. that's that's the weather in Nairobi for you at the moment and don't start don't start with the with, with the with the mud mud I have to wear boots when I have to leave the house. Anywho, let me continue with the story. I told the person, okay, how much money? They gave me the proposal, sent me bronchua, and uh, I, I purchased outpatient, in, inpatient, and not maternity. I didn't choose maternity benefits as well. So they say to me, okay, this is the final... I took 1 million Kenya shillings cover because they have up to 5 million actually to cover, but I choose 1 million. I don't know which one. This is the first time I'm having, I'm paying insurance for myself. So I don't know exactly how it works. So I choose whichever I could afford. But the one I choose, they told me, okay, pay the money, then we will proceed and then send your card. So I paid the money. After she bugged me and didn't give me time. The minute I pay, she went quiet. So I was like, okay, why exactly? So I tried to talk to her and, you know, she seems busy all of a sudden. Before now, she was following up and, you know, always on my neck. Then I was like, okay, let me give her some time because I'll get back to you. Mm-hmm. So, she did not get back to me, so I had to call her. She said, I'll call you back. Then she actually called. And then she told me, oh, 
the insurance has um, has a different proposal pro, proposition. Is it proposition? What is this English word? Proposal. They have a different brochure. Things have changed, and uh, now you need to pay more money. And um, the cover that you chose is no longer available. You need to uh, add uh, such and such amount of money. And the cover is inclusive of maternity benefits. And I was like, ah, before you bug me and make the final, finalizing everything and, and, you know, and make me send money, why can't you counter check with the insurance company before you, you make this type of blunder? So anyway, I was just talking to her before I started doing the, the cooking. And now I have to send more money because... I need to be covered anyway, so I have to send more money, more money with the insurance company. So, but if you send the money, if I send the money, the pay, the, the pay bill that she gave me belongs to the insurance company. And after you send the money, it comes back as UAP insurance, you know, so it's not like she's a fraud or something like that. She works for the end. I found them online this company that is dealing with this insurance people I find them online so it's um a lot of people have good uh, good are talking good about them so yeah so it's what's the time in Kenya now someone is asking me um let me check for you it's now almost 11 o'clock I need to be out of the house guys I was cozying on in bed the entire time my dog also climbed on bed. They were both of us were just sleeping there, but now she's he's sleeping there. He's feeling cold as well. I don't know why I'm letting my food get cold, because I'm honestly afraid of eating on the camera, <laughs> because I don't want people to come and say why are you eating. Hmm? So right now I'm going, guys. I want to tell you some something. Huh? I don't know, but the things that I was doing, I was like expected to use a certain amount of money. I told you guys that I'm doing constructions. I'm co continuing whatever, whatever it is. I started some construction and I didn't finish because, you know, I was waiting until when I was in Kenya to finish it, to finish uh, other units, whatever. <sighs> I had a fixed money that I know I knew that when this money finishes, that house will be done. Forget it. Forget it. Right now, I don't even want to go there. It's like if you put sand, you know, like they underquote. They say we need sand to lorries, but it ends up that the lorry comes. That lorry finishes, another lorry comes, the second lorry finishes, still the sand is da finished. Since the time I bought uh, the Mkumi, the big lorry, I've added two more lorries of sand, and even now they need more sand. And I know people were saying that the type of sand I chose was not the correct sand, but let me tell you, Nairobi now, According to what's more sold, that is the sand that is actually everyone is buying that sand. The other sand has no market anymore because it's so expensive. And even if you go to the sand depot, you'll just find the one that is being sold more is the black sand. That is the one which is in the market at the moment. So that is the one I ended up Nini. But I feel like it just goes, you know. I think, I feel like this sand goes, I don't know why, but I think that we miss. Uh, we underestimated things. I looked at the house and I was just like, okay, this house should be not not take me more than it should. I was like, okay, if I tell you guys, even though there are two units, if I tell you guys the amount that that house has taken me, you will say that, wow. And not still going. It's not yet done, guys. I don't even want to go. I just, I'm so exhausted. And I just want to finish and let, I don't want to do construction ever. It's the most, the most entire, the, the most tiring 
thing, you know. I used to complain whenever I was constructing this house. I was always saying that I'm never going to do construction ever because dealing with fundies when I was constructing this house is the most headache I got. But now, look at me again. I'm dealing with one fundie. You know, like they will tell you, somebody will do quotation and then will leave other things, you know. Now I understand why people usually take contractors for, with a certain company. Even though it's expensive, but you know, the Juakali builders, oh God. I'm sure it's not as expensive as when you find ready-made house or, uh, or, when, you, or when you get the, the construct, those other guys, what are they called? These construction companies to work for you. You know, the companies who just works for you, builds for you, and then gives you the key at the end of the day, you know, you just pay the amount. They What they say, you give us five million, your house will be done in certain, a certain amount of time, or let's say six million, and then your house will be done, just come for the key. It's much more expensive by doing that, according to my, how I feel. But... You know that at the end of the day, you will not have to deal with the, you know, the food is yourself and all that. Four man workers and stuff. But I have to because I take the cheaper, cheaper Juakali route. Everybody uses Juakali here. But because obviously I'm a woman inside and they don't take me serious and they call me Mkubwa. <laughs> guys they call me jatelo you know what jatelo mean it's like boss so the minute they they see you they've seen boss a working money is coming in because construction obviously is expensive here in kenya and not people who don't have you know cannot afford it so they know for sure that you have money for you to construct it doesn't matter if you are struggling financially. They know that for you to set up this, you must be having money. So for me, I'm like, I'm struggling right now. Today, I don't want to go there. I like, I'm, uh, it's already 11 o'clock. And I just like, oh, should I go there? Because the minute, guys, the minute I reach construction site, my Taji is in Akuja. Yani, I don't even know where the my Tajis are coming from. Somebody, my Taji is meaning like, they want this, they want that, they want this, they want this, they want this, they want this. And I don't even know, like, uh, for example, somebody under quotes something, like a plumber guy, you're giving him plumbing work and you're telling him, okay, I want you to plumb this entire house. So he quotes the entire house and gives you the quotation and then says, okay, this is the money that you're supposed to pay and these are the materials. So I go with the, with the plumber guy to buy material because it's, it's near. But I've, I've done something that I know that you guys are going to cast me out. There was a day that I was feeling unwell and I was so tired. So I sent my, uh, my, my, what is it he called? My caretaker, because he's also an electrician. He's, he does electrici electrical engineering. So he's the one who's providing electricity to the house. So I sent him to go and buy me um, electrical wires. So yeah, and he brought me a receipt, but I don't know, man. I was just like, okay, I needed to go with him, you know, but I didn't go because I was feeling unwell and stuff. And there's just, it's not like I don't trust him, but it's good to go by yourself so that you have the, you're certain that actually whatever was bought is not of a child or they didn't take some money in the side and over quoted stuff. Because if I go by myself, usually I bargain a lot. And uh, they usually, you know, but she, he told me that that uh, wires, like electrical wires, if you want quality ones, there is always fixed price, which could be true, to be honest. So, yeah, there's just a lot of things, guys, when it comes to construction. There's sometimes you can be tied up somewhere. You have to send for stuff, you know. Um sometimes people are genuine sometimes they are not always genuine 
like when I when I leave the site, I go back home. When I go back, they told me, oh, yesterday we took this and that. And I'm like, but I was here until evening. Why did you have to take it when after I have left? So they tell me, oh, you need to give give this money and, you know, that money. Or, for example, they needed uh, buckets, you know, like uh, buckets for, like, for work. And then they were like, I have lots of buckets here that we were used to paint this house. But uh, it's like... There's just a lot of annoying things, guys. So that is what exactly I'm dealing with. And sometimes it's just too dusty, too hectic. And sometimes I feel like I don't want to show you guys all that. Not, not that, not that I, I don't know. There's just some, sometimes I want to leave that. So anyway, I think I'm rambling. I need to eat my food. I need to eat my food. Because I'm seeing a lot of you guys are leaving. Some some people are leaving. Maybe I'm boring you guys. I don't know. Um, let me read from you guys. I need to eat quickly and then I need to go. Um, Atlanta team to go. Oh, wow. You are in Atlanta. That's US. They killed uh, cranberry juice. Cranberry. Yes. With UTI, I need to. Where can I get cranberry juice in Nairobi? Uh, um, your videos are always um, that I've done antibiotics for drink cranberry yeah I'm gonna get antibiotic it's not yet cold we have sunshine 20 degrees that's nice mm, 20 oh like okay it's cold my comment read my comment about UTI yeah I've done yeah, I'm going to buy an antibiotics right now. I used to come to Kenya in July, but I could not feel the cold. Guys, it's, it's, Yani, the weather has just changed abruptly in Kenya. And right now, it's rainy and cold. It's supposed to be like this in July. Usually, July, it's, it's like this. But now we are in September, and we have a little bit of rain. Not a little bit. Actually, it's very muddy outside. I wish I can upload for you the video that I made yesterday. <laughs> and I was just saying to myself, man, these are the times that you need a car, man. You need a car. But you know, I've put my priorities before cars. I've done other things. Because, of course, if I didn't do what I'm doing right now with my money, it's very, it could have been very easy for me to afford a car, to buy a car. But I said, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I was getting rained on. I had my umbrella and I was walking, la, la, la. And then I, my neighbor was was just parked because she was ready to leave. You know, she has a car, obviously. And then she, I passed, and then I was just going with my umbrella, you know. And then I was waiting for a matatu. It was muddy. It was raining and stuff. She just, like, passed me. She didn't know even. She forgot. She didn't even. She didn't even. She pretended she didn't even see me. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's, those are the like here in Kenya, mm -mm. it's not like before that people used to, no, but to be, let me just be honest, depending on the kind of neighbors you have, some neighbors, there's no neighbor who will watch you getting rained on and then pass you by a car just like that. In the area where I used to stay, the neighbors are so, so super good. The neighbors are so, so super good. I'm telling you. People cook and bring food in other people's houses. You know, like, uh, for example, now I'm doing construction. Somebody just uh, gives me food, you know, from nowhere. They just, like, say, come and eat lunch. Come and, you know, people are just like that. You know, people are coming into people's houses, uh, have d d mandazi and tea. You know, like, people are very, I don't know, there's something about it about it that I don't think so, but now I'm, I'm moving into, into a new area, you know, so yeah, that's the, the neighborhood here is very like you are on your own. That is how I feel. The neighborhood here is like you are on your own, but I was used to the other neighbors that I used to have, but too bad. Even now when I go back, I still, we still like, I still like, even if I'm hungry, even if I need something, I go to my neighbor's house and, you know, or she just like cooks and says food is ready, come and eat. That's just the neighborhood that we have. We had there. It's it's nice, you know. It is. I, I like it. 
But here, even when I was doing construction the entire time, you could sit outside in a scorching sun, it's raining, or you are thirsty, but you could not dare ask for, even nobody will give you water. So yeah, so that's how it is here. Um, and you know, when you go to Rome, you find the way people live in Rome, you live like that also. You live like that in Rome. So yeah. And I remember there was a time when I was constructing. The neighbor behind me, she's in the U.S. She's doing her construction while she's in the U.S. And people did her dirty, guys. People did her dirty. The house is still under construction 10 years, uh, 10 years after. So... I remember when, when I came to start constructing here, she found out that I am a duo and she said, oh, Nyangia, you know, she, she says Nyangia. And then she's, she's so kind. So her brother lives here. So her brother is kind of, you know, those male though people, very nice guy, very nice guy. Not all, someone is calling me, but I'm not gonna pick now. Because if I pick this, this thing is going to go off. I'm going to call it the insurance people. It's the insurance people who are calling me now. I'll call her later. So she's, they are so nice. So this person gave me, you know, like they have underground tank. It's, it's an underground tank or a septic tank. There's an underground that collects rainwater to go underground. So she, they had that water that they wanted to get rid of. Then I was like using that water because the guy, the guy behind me is very kind. He said, Yala, don't buy water. I have water, use this water. That's how nice they were. Because obviously water is expensive to build. So she was, they were giving me water. Then another neighbor saw me getting water from there. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor made a phone call. There's always one notorious neighbor. One. I don't know if they are watching my videos. Maybe they are watching. But they need to know they are very notorious and I do not tolerate. So, so the neighbor went and, and stuck, you know, like went and, 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 and reported to the owner on the house. I don't know. Maybe they made a phone call to the U.S. I don't know. But the minute... And the neighbor insisted that I have to, I have to buy water and replace. I have to bring, you know, the big, big lorry of water and you have to replace it. That is the kind of neighbor that, that, yeah, 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 I'm dealing with. I told you guys that my spirit disturbs a lot of people. So this kind of people will, will actually try to, to sort of deter my progress, Kabisa. Tell me if that type of neighbor will actually see you getting rained on and will give you will give you a lift. You tell me. I want to hear. <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth, yesterday I was getting rained on and I said to myself, ah! <laughs> God, oh, God, oh, you see how I'm getting rained on now. Give me a car now. <laughs> well, but anyway, so, so I was just like, how much time will it save you to, to, to drive sometimes, Ruby? How much time would it save you? I know I have to do my driving lessons, guys. But I don't want to have a driving license before I have the money to buy the car. I need to have my driving license and my car, uh, you know. <laughs> it's a prayer that I am asking God for. I was living in South Africa with my uncle and they never offered to give you a ride. My aunt's explanation was that uh, slowing down can invite you. <laughs> I used to have an uncle who used to have a car. And he used to complain whenever, you know, whenever people could ask for a lift. He used to complain and say, my car is not for carrying passengers. Hmm? 
My car is just not for carrying passengers. You know, there are some people who don't give lifts. You know, they don't give lifts. But I don't know. I don't know if 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 I can just see my neighbor, especially the neighbor that the one I was telling you guys that was giving me water or stuff. I don't think that I would see if I if you have good relationship and your heart is pure and you or your heart is clean and you are somebody who is very uh, very welcoming, then I don't see why why I would see I would pass my neighbor when she's getting rained on. Why? I would never. I don't think that I would. I would. I would do that. If I see them, if I see them, you know. For example, there are sometimes you don't see them. Of course, that you would pass. But if you see her, this is how she's going, and I will pass her. She's she's getting rained on. I will pass her. Now, Sazingine, you know, people usually pass and leave dust behind or leave. Sayundio, <laughs> that is the time that even the moshi from the car goes the hiwa, you know, like <laughs> because you're left behind. Or even if there was mud or, or, or you know, they just like <clears throat> the mud just splashes on you. There are people like that, guys. But anyway, um, Delaware, US. Ah, Linda, no, it's you are in. Anyway, so many people are in the US. So, guys, pray for me. I need to get to get myself myself a, a transportation for myself, man. I need. I was thinking of getting a motorbike. <laughs> I was thinking of buying a motorbike, guys, because now motorbike is very fashionable in Kenya. So many people have motorbikes. But I don't know why. I like riding in motorbike as a passenger, but being the one, con I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just scared. I feel like if 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 a car behind me goes, pip, 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 I might just run out of the motorbike and you know, <laughs> jump out of the motorbike because of scare. I'm so scared, you know. So, yeah, I'm afraid of motorbike. Between Ruby, you can have a DL and hire a car for emergencies. Ah, it's very expensive. Lynn thinks this key. I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy. I think I think it's very, very much expensive to hire a car here in Kenya because somebody will, will tell you the car is going for 6000 per day. 6000 a hire per day. I'm like, excuse me, no, please. Thank you. For emergency, yes, but right now it's no. There's no emergency, so I just, I just, I'm so used to my tattoos right now. Even though it's not so pleasant, but when you're in Ruby, it gets you get used to life very quickly. You guys, I need to finish my breakfast. Splendid, hi. <laughs> I need to finish my breakfast and rush out, man. After completing construction, Kenya power is headache. They like to delay and even some time want to get to Guys, let me tell you something with Kenya power. Kenya power is good. The thing is, what they did wrong is that they gave a lot of people contracts to work for them. And people are frauding Kenya power. A lot of them are frauding Kenya Power. You know what? They gave people contract of, of providing uh, tokens. So they gave a certain company. So those companies were using brokers to provide tokens in, at home. But these people did, they took, there's a way that they, they took, they, they tampered with the tokens so that when you are buying electricity, you don't buy through Kenya Power. You buy directly from them. So even the token in my house, we have... If, for, for those of you who doesn't know token, this is token. Let me show you guys. Because even me, I was not familiar with tokens until here is the electrical token. Here is the unit. So it's like it's just like a phone, chargeable, whatnot. And then you, you buy electricity and then you put it. Right now we have 21 units that I bought. I bought, I think I bought four days, four days or five days ago. It came at 60 units and now already we've, we've used nine units but i feel like my house electricity goes i don't know what happens maybe that my fridge is faulty or something we don't even watch tv here 
I don't like watching TV personally. But the electricity is just running rampant in this house, going like, I don't know. So anyway, this is what happens now in my, this one, a broker brought it. And you know, brokers bring it, brings you electricity and it comes so fast within a day. You call a broker and a broker brings you, my pole is from a broker. Those days when Kenya Power gave them authority to whatever, I don't know, I don't know, but I think they are brokers, but they are fraud at the end of the day. So somebody provided me his contacts and he brought me a poll. Where he got this poll, I have no idea. So he he connected the poll. Any something that is gonna take Kenya Power 100,000, they will come and put it for you for 25,000. So this guy brought my poll for 25,000. The quote that Kenya Power could have given me could have been much higher and of course genuine just like constructing a house guys if you want to go through clean slate like starting from a scratch you want construction engineer you want land surveyor you want to do what you want licenses to have it in the house for you to construct my friend you will end up the government will end up eating your money that is why a lot of people now use juakali juakali has constructed almost all houses here in nairobi Almost all houses, and those houses are good. My house is constructed by a Juakali. I told you guys that you will go through a lot of here and there with them, and you know, with, because of money issues. But at the end of the day, when you come to calculate, it's much cheaper than going through the, you know, legal way and all that, la la la. And I know some of you say, oh, you know, maybe the house will be built wrongly. No, even Gorofa, even a Gorofa that has 10, you know, you 10 floors can be built by a juakali in a very good way like it's just kenya for you so i went through back door to get my electricity but then there's something if the kenya power come came and read my meter that is where the problem comes because this person br brings you the electricity and tells you because you are very naive you don't know what is reading so he have your, your all your information to go and apply in your name but then he gives you electricity, runs away, takes your money. When you, when you enter your data, you find your name is nowhere. Everything is registered in a certain company where maybe this company is in Dubai or the company is in India. You know, some funny, funny companies. So what you have to do is that you have to follow the, 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 the route whereby now you register and your name has to appear in the meter. So right now, if I had to find another person who had to actually enter my name into the Kenya Power log so that my name can. So every time this person, if the Kenya Power people comes to read my meter, it's reading my name. Before it was reading other people's name. But if they could come and find out that it's reading somebody else's name, uh, they will uh, pull, even they will pull down everything, you know. So there's a risk. So I have my, the guy that is... Um, is my caretaker right now is the one who's doing my electrical work the one who actually checked the meters in my other place and 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 uh realized that the meters are not registered in my name the broker is the one because me i was just like i'm just sitting there me me michelle there was steamer my steamer is fine but then when when he came to look around he said actually these meters does not belong to you they belong to somebody else and i freaked out then i gave him you know, I, I, I think I, I didn't even give him money. He just went and, you know, there's a, whatever, I don't know what they do. And uh, they are now reading my name, all of them. So, and, but now, Kenya Power have a new boss that has cut down on all this fraud. So he's making sure that everything is straightforward. But still, there's a lot of people who, who are using electricity and not paying. Year, year end, every, Kenya, my friend, Kenya. Kenya people are very cunning. Huh? So everything is very possible here in Kenya. I have learned staying here now and constructing. <clears throat> There's something that I was, I was thinking to myself that is not costing me money. Putting gymsum. Uh, um, I was thinking to myself, I don't need to put dim sum. Those things are very gisty, like they are very like, uh, 
very high end. This house, these people are paying me this amount of money. Why should I give them a house of a high class finishing? Yet they are just, if you go to that area, you see this type of house where they're paying this type of money. Nobody is, is living in such a house. So me, I've come with my abroad, my Dubai finishing. I'm giving these people Dubai finishing. Then I was given quotation of uh, the type of Dubai finishing for a house. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Because I've become a little bit more picky. Because I've seen good homes. I've seen lived in good hotels. I've seen good finishing when it comes to homes. So my taste is a bit more different than, you know, any. So for me, I give them good quality, you know. But unfortunately, the money is just going to be as low, but they will have good quality of a house. So the gym sum cost me money that I don't even want to tell you guys. <laughs> so the person who made, gave me gym sum is the same person who does doors. He's the same person who also does uh, doors and cabinets, kitchen and wardrobes. So this person is the one who gave me quotation and they always say to you, oh, you know, that one is better than the other one. For example, the one I have here in my house, I knew that it was a temporary one according to me but he's telling me that this one that you've put in your house as to be temporary one is actually more expensive than this permanent one and then he gives you a lot of pros and cons for example when he says when fire breaks out in your house jim sam will never catch fire jim sam will actually uh, uh what is it called jim sam will put out fire because it will never burn jim sam never burns they told me that, oh, the one that you have in your house, it's like a PVC, plastic. It ignites like this. It will burn your entire house like this. It's supposed to be cheap, but it's expensive. But it's the one, it's the vice versa. Because of how it looks, it ended up being more expensive than the one that now I have. So, guys, I'm learning construction. I'm learning it the hard way. I want to finish my my nyoyo. My this nyoyo of mine is now very very uh, dry and and cold because I have to talk to you guys. My tea is also very cold now. I, I what life is this now? Cold tea in a cold weather. Cold nyoyo in a cold weather. But my people, you come fast. It is well. So now, eh, this is Kenya for you. I have learned a hard way. But what can I say? It's because, for example, now, when I try to calculate the money that I have used and all, it's a bit more, it's too much. But these people are telling me, oh, but this house is going to accumulate money for you for the rest of your life. Don't worry, you know. Just finish and forget about it. And then they tell me, well, you put a roof, but I am sure you're going to finish and then you're going to remove this roof and again continue. Because constructing is very, very addictive, guys. The minute that you have, let's say you have six, seven units, and you start catching money, you know, comes end month, end month, end month. Then you're like, oh, actually, oh, uh, oh, 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 okay, okay. Then you are like, I need to continue, you know. This is how people end up having big offers from time to time, you know, as in after they've accumulated money. But I say to myself, I do not want, please, let it stay the way it is, huh? I don't want to continue constructing. I want a peace of mind now. I want to continue. I don't want to, to constructing. Now I just need to find a way to get myself a car. <laughs> Guys, how can I buy a car? I need to rob a bank. I need a bank who will give me a loan and leave me alone. Ah. How can I get one? Because you need it here in Kenya, man. You need it here. So, um, somebody is saying something. Have you ever been like somebody who has Tama, Tama Yagari, to an extent I'm like, it's a high time, man. It's a high time. 
it's a high time after computing construction can power is here um but now it's true that Kenya power is very much headache because a lot of people have gone bad with Kenya power. A lot of people have scammed Kenya power and people are still scamming Kenya power. They are going through a loss because a lot of Kenyans are very cunning. You'll find an old house, an entire house like this has electricity, but they're not paying. Hmm? There's a way that they've tampered with, with wires to make it go that they, they are not paying. So people are very smart. So that's why they have to be a bit more careful. So I don't blame Kenya Power. Uh, where he got this poll from? I have no idea. Open eyes, that's golden. My friend, a poll came. I called and a poll came. A poll with Kenya Power there. I have electricity in my house. The poll is outside. He just brings his own people to, he brought it. But that guy is a very big fraud. I was thinking to myself, should I report this guy? Then I was like, okay, if I report him, I will also be, be put in for using a fraud. <laughs> then electricity will be cut in my house. Then I said, let me just leave him alone. Because he actually disappeared with some of my money. And right now my electricity is connected on his... on. My electricity, we have two lines. He gave the lady that lives, that used to live here, he gave her two lines. So this lady all along has been topping up using these people, this fraud people line. You know? I don't know if you guys understand. It's like when you put top up, SMS comes back saying, Kenya Power, what, what, KPL, what, what. But this one comes in with a different, different name. So he's very cunning. So he knows. So I told that girl, no, just use Kenya Power uh, token top up. Don't use that that guy's token top up. Can you imagine Kenya for you? People know how to eat. People know how to eat. They provided token that people can actually buy token without Kenya Power knowing, or even without the money going to Kenya Power. It's going to the account, but you cannot, you cannot find them. Unless people who use them, Kenya people are very smart guys. You would think Kenya people are stupid. Like for example, we have the main um, main telecom company called Safaricom, there's Airtel, and they provide internet for people in homes. But they don't have coverage for majority of homes. But there are people who are privately owned, have privately owned companies who are capable of bringing you an antenna in your house and connecting your entire house with the internet. You know, they found a way of bringing internet. When the Kenya power, the main Kenya the main uh, mobile telecom company is saying, oh, it can't be done, can't be done. Then they've already propelled and they've brought internet. Here in this house, there's internet full full steam. When Kenya, when the other people said, we, we have not reached your area. They came and climbed on top of, of the house and put their own and, antenna. Where they get this internet, I have no idea. But there's internet in this house. Now I am with you, with the internet. Huh? This entire area is covered. Nowadays, people don't even watch TV anymore because before the government was so smart, they thought that they were smart. Kenyans know how to earn money. Can you imagine now the honor of this, um, the honor of this uh, internet? First installation, you pay 15k, and then monthly, you pay 3,000. Imagine how many homes these people are connecting internet to. Even in Ushago, even in up country, or where, you know, no coverage at all. They come there and they install. They install for you the internet. So Kenya is a, 
people are very smart how people make money here i looked at that guy that guy used to be a radio you know radio and you know electrical news to men radio and now he has his entire company and then another one there's a guy who now have a, a electrical uh, alarm system company the guy is now providing homes with alarm system for example now this guy is an old man who is actually working with his sons his six sons if there is a problem with the, the electrical, anything with the, the whatever, the um, alarm, whatever, you just SMS him and one time they are here with their, you know, they have a motorbike. They are here, they've climbed, they've fixed, they've left. So it's like, it's, they are more effective than uh, even the police system or the ambulance system. Right now, if let's say you're having your sick or your things are, are getting, you know, you are like, oh, you are kaputting. Right now, call 999, 9 what, 9 what, this emergency system. It will not even go through. It will not go through. But there are companies who have taken advantage of this. They have realized that there is a lot of, they are very incompetent. The government entities are very incompetent. There are companies who have emergency, they've, they've gotten, they have like, you have to register with them and their number is one time, like emergency 24-7. You call them if there's an emergency, they send you whatever, ambulance, paramedics, and you know, you go to the hospital immediately. So, yeah. So, guys... I need to finish my breakfast and then get ready and leave. I need to go and conquer the world. I need to go and do my stuff. The guy, the guy who is my foreman is leaving for, he's going to Ushago. So I have to be the one monitoring. And I'm, I'm feeling a bit stressed because the money has gone overboard. The money that I was expecting to spend, I've spent that money on one unit instead of the two units there's the two the other unit is is gonna be uncom not complete only one unit is going so today they are doing tiling they are tiling the entire house so i want to be there so that if something is done incorrect i i tell them to fix it because you know tiling is very sensitive Tiling and fittings is the, the house itself. If you're not there to monitor when they're doing it, you might go there. It's a good thing that I haven't paid him, but I need to be there to monitor. So let me finish eating this gathery of mine, and then I have a chat with you guys next time. I don't know if I should bring you guys to the side to see and disable comments or what. I don't know. <laughs> but you know that I want you guys to to actually, you know. It's just that I know that people watch me, some people watch me with not ill intentions. And somebody was telling me, keep your things private. Just no need to come and tell us this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm doing, you know. Sometimes I feel that like they are right. But... Again, I opened my channel to talk to you guys about construction and, you know, building and developing in Kenya. For those of you who might feel um, interested, so that you know what you will be dealing with when you start. So I think it's a good way to inform or to give information. Let me read what you said for the last time, then I have to leave now. Mm. Just finish where the house is uh, livable and continue later because building can be very, yeah. Guys, oof. Okay, I'm not going to say anything more. You can learn on the job. Don't compromise on the finishes. You'll get a deserving clients. Taking standing bank, they offer loans and cars. I cannot take any more loan. I finished paying loans in the Emirates. I'm not taking loans in Kenya. 
I don't want to take any more loans. I don't want to be in any debt. I want to use my money as I go. No debt for me, please. Thank you. My uh, my house is four years and I'm still on it, but beauty is we moved in and from the moment the roof and all the basic is installed within the first two months. Splendiva, that's good because this house I moved in even before we had electricity. I I surely did. We were using this portable um a solar system this portable solar that is the ones that you put in the sun and then you bring out we had nothing you know i just moved in because i was just like i have to i have to move in here man so everything is done when i'm still here and there's still other work there's not much but there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done but it's it's okay because because i don't have to I don't have to like be worried about anything because I'm here now. <laughs> uh, if you want to finish, finish, you run out of money. Uh, you can please buy good quality gemstone, even if it means paying a little extra. If you don't do it correctly the first time, you will end up uh, paying for level and better quality. Yeah. Okay. Host take here. I got to go. Okay. Uh, Sizzle Diaries, have a good a good one in a bit. It would be a nice to have you around. Nice listening to you. I can go to bed. Okay, Okanya. Bye. Mm, finish the unit to high standard and rent out. Then use rent to finish other units. That's what I've been doing, actually. That's exactly what I've been doing. Um guys enjoy keep positive auntie becky thank you so much for informing us we love you thank you spendiva good morning sherry sanzala it's educative and inspiration oh, always don't put too much personal stuff out there i think you're doing fine that's far blessing thank you guys i just wake up through watching your youtube channel i have been sending money to uganda and my family stole <gasps> your family stole everything i have to start over you are blessed oh my god <sighs> these families man i don't give a i don't i don't really know please it's better to stay with your money with you in your pocket than sending it to your family members to do anything for you Oh my goodness, it's bad that you, you've learned the hard way. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Splendid, but I don't have solar system in the roof. I have portable solar. I don't have solar system. It's too expensive. For now, I'm just using electricity. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on my next video. Have a lovely day. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you guys. I don't know what my next video is going to be, but I'll, I'll film for you guys. Have a lovely day. Bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.